shoe shopping and whenever I go into a shoe store I go really crazy trying on all the shoes and I just wish that I could have them all. When I was in high school I was in the orchestra for the musicals that we did so I love big Broadway show tunes, music from Annie and Ragtime and Guys and Dolls. I actually don't really like a lot of them from like West Side Story and some stuff like that. Katie really hates when I play that kind of music, so. Alright, this one is pretty gross, but whenever we would go to restaurants, I would take all the leftover food and sauces and like mix them all together into this nastiness and I would dare my brother to eat them. When I was in the second grade, I pooped my pants. <laughs> Here's a guy, just leave it. Okay. When I was in the third grade, I pooped my pants and I was really embarrassed. I was in the bathroom, so I took my underwear off and I threw it away in the trash can. Um, so that was pretty funny. So I have three bad habits. Uh, interrupting, walking in front of cars because I don't know where I'm going, and zoning out. I do that a lot. One bad habit I had for a long time was biting my fingernails, but I've been really working hard at it and I haven't done it in a really long time. When I was a kid, I told everybody that I was adopted, when actually it was my brothers who were adopted. When I was a kid, I used to tell people that I was related to Morgan Freeman. I did that in college as well. Uh, I'm really scared of roller coasters. And a couple summers ago, Vince was really trying to get me to go because he thought he could make me not be afraid anymore. And I got really, really mad because he didn't know how scared I really was and he just kept pushing it, pushing it. I think a couple days later, I just was so mad and I started crying and I was like, you don't understand, I'm so scared. I was really mad. One time Katie and I were making brownies and I don't know if I just had a really bad day or if I was just being a jerk. And I was really excited about stirring the bowl. And I left the room for a minute, and I came back, and she had like already finished. And I got kind of upset. I'm not very proud of that, but we worked it out. I am really bad at Mario Kart. I always end up driving in the grass or in the water, anywhere you're not supposed to be. That's where I am. I always miss the coins and the stars. Like I'll be driving really, really slow, and I still miss them every time. I'm really bad at eating with chopsticks. Um, I've been practicing. My wife is Asian, so that really helps. But I cannot get it. I think it's because my hands are too big. <laughs> so we really try to practice everything that we preach. I feel like that's a really important part of who we are. Sometimes I get really impatient with people, and I really want people to be patient with me. I always tell people not to worry, but I always worry. Yeah, for the most part, we try to do what we say. When I was a kid, well, my friend, she had this little mermaid toy and I really, really liked it. So when I went over there to play with her, she wasn't noticing, so I snuck it into my pocket and then I brought it home and I played with it for a while. And then the next time we went to her house, I poured all the toys on the ground. I snuck it back in there because I thought she would notice. And then when we were playing, she was like, oh my gosh, I was wondering where this went. And I was like, <laughs> When I was a kid, it's possible that I stole a WWJD bracelet. For those unfamiliar with the phrase, it stands for What Would Jesus Do? And I stole a Christian bookstore coupon book that I thought was free. I also used to steal tips from tables and restaurants. I was young and I didn't really know that people were leaving that money for the waiters and waitresses and my mom was pretty upset about that. We were playing Uno at this person's house and there was a new girl there who I had just gotten to know and some other girl that I didn't know kept putting like all the draw fours and skips on this girl and I was like really annoyed. When it was my turn, I had like collected all my draw twos and I was just saving them for the perfect moment and then someone put reverse and I just kept laying them all down on that girl who was like skipping everybody and I was just like <laughs> I'm not very proud of this one but when I was in high school I really liked this girl. She didn't like me back which is fine, and I decided not to talk to her for two entire years after that. We went to a small school, so I saw her a lot. It was pretty bad. I'm sorry. At my ballet studio in Virginia, there were these two girls, and they were like, just the cool girls. They were really good at ballet, and they were really pretty. My teacher would have them come in and demonstrate stuff to us sometimes, and I just really thought they were so cool. I always wanted to be like them. They used to give me and my sister their hand-me-downs, so I would just be like, ah, oh, I'm so cool. Like, they give me their clothes instead of everybody else. So I felt really special. 
I used to be really envious of my best friends, Sam and Josh Johnson. Uh, when we were kids, they were always like a foot and a half taller than I was. But we played basketball together. No matter where we went, people would stop them and be like, you guys are so tall, you play basketball. And they typically kind of ignored me like I was a jockey. Yeah, I was pretty envious of that for a while, but I got over it. We were not allowed to watch Powerpuff Girls, Rugrats, or Johnny Bravo, but we really wanted to, and this sounds really bad, but whenever we would have Bible study, the parents were all upstairs, and then the kids were all in the basement, so that's when we would watch them, and like, my mom never found out, but we were pretty happy with ourselves. When I was in the eighth grade, our class had a pet hamster, and after school one day, I stuck my hand in the cage, and I would kind of, like, mess with him, and I would stir up the mulch and stuff around him, my teacher caught me and said, Vincent, stop doing that. And I was really bored, so I kept doing it. Eventually, the hamster had enough, and he bit my finger. So I yanked my hand out really quick, and I looked back in there, and I couldn't find the hamster. And what happened was, when he bit my finger, he flew out of the cage onto the ceiling. He hit the ceiling, landed on the ground, ran into the wall like a 100 times, and we never found him again, and I got in a lot of trouble. <laughs>